Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Oh, wow. Damn. So Gilly seems pretty upset about Birdman and Whack 100 Clubhouse interview. If y'all ain't see the whole interview, check out Stunner. You know, my video before this one. Yeah, it's on my page, y'all. I told y'all to like and subscribe. Yeah, kick it with me every day in your spare time. What wrong with that? But one thing Gilly the Kid found something wrong with was Birdman talking ish about him 25 years later. Look here, Gilly. Look here, Gilly. Back then, he felt like you was a drop shot. I'm just giving you the, hey, I'm just adding it up for you now. He felt like he was a drop shot. He felt like you keep telling him stories 25 years straight. But then you got your big break with a $50 million deal doing podcasting. Talking about niggas like him or ninjas, should I say. I don't like to use the N-word. I did it. I did it. And I'm this color. So what? So what? But anywho. So yeah. He didn't feel like you were big enough to respond, but he kept asking him, asking him, asking him. Then he wasn't doing no interviews. Now, Birdman said, look, it's better to give him less. When you're getting that check, it's better to talk less. Like Future and Drake, they don't really do interviews like that. I was surprised Drake did one with that. Yeah, girl. Like she was just playing about the industry. Yeah. Y'all know she like she was just playing it there. Now, where she come from? Talking about Snoop Dogg. Her daddy worked for Snoop Dogg. Shut up. Shut up, Bobby, whoever. Y'all know I'm talking about Act Bland and Sukiana and them had in the strip club. She looking like, and probably the freakiest one out of all of them. That way, <laughs> but back to Gilly. So yeah, um, I don't feel like Birdman felt, yeah, he was like, no, yeah, you talking about you wrote for Wayne. Hey, Birdman said, I ain't made a dime off y'all. If y'all watched my video prior to the whole interview, I broke that down already. You know what I'm saying? I keep y'all updated. Ain't nothing going on but the Birdman. Drake. Whack 100. Yeah, I got to pick which one that I think my crowd won. And I've been doing a hell of a good job for y'all. Because I appreciate the likes y'all give. I appreciate, I appreciate y'all sharing it. You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything. Teamwork made the dream work. And my job is to make y'all laugh. Or make y'all mad. At them though. Not the team now. This I'm super cool. We the team. Mad at them for doing stupid shit like spitting the girl's mouth like Kevin Gates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, yeah. Um, Gilly is talking real big. Talking about he got more money than the bird man. <laughs> oh Lord. I almost spit my coffee out. Get that way. Talking about you big in the bird man, you making more money than the bird man. Boy, stop. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bird man? The big five? Well, Gilly, stop playing, man. That 50 million, listen, listen, listen. If you was making more of the bird, man, you wouldn't be shooting your own video driving. You can't even get your girl to shoot your video. Dad, we know you ain't working with nothing. I'm just playing on that one, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that way. But at the end of the day, yeah, he capping. Yeah, let's put it, be honest. It's about 25 years, but he never addressed the issue. Oh, uh, yeah. Beanie Siegel. That sounded loud in it. Yeah, how loud it was. And he was strapped. Very man said, I can't mess with that man no more. Man, listen, I can't mess with that man no more. He slapped him from here to kingdom come. Matter of fact, he slapped him so hard that he slapped him. That say if he slapped him today, he slapped him right into a million dollars worth of game and helped him get money with them hands. That's how uh, Beanie Siegel slapped him. That's how hard he slapped him. Yeah, that way. <laughs> I'm just playing. But at the end of the day, yeah. Let's hear Gilly, the kid, Sada, the story, right here, right now, Oh, one. The whole thing is, why Birdman waits so long to say something? But I can't even respond when you say something 25 years later. It's like, what are we talking about, man? You only responding because you don't hear the roar of the crowd no more. You want to know what's so crazy? Huh? I'm bigger than baby. Ain't that crazy? I'm bigger than that nigga right now. I generate more money than that nigga right now. I don't hear that shit. You niggas counting me out, nigga. I'm bigger than you, nigga. Shut up. 
Nobody give a fuck about you, nigga. Shut up, nigga. I'm bigger than you, nigga. <laughs> you niggas counting me out, I'm bigger than you, nigga. <laughs> fuck you talking about. <laughs> Counted a nigga out. You talk about some shit 25 years later, I done called you a bitch ass nigga for 25 years. 25 years later, you respond, sit your bitch ass down somewhere. If I even hear that shit, nigga. Shut up. I don't even disrespect niggas. You don't need nigga I disrespect because I knew you pussy. I see the way you treat a real niggas. Rest in peace, kill a stone. You could never treat me like that, though. Because you already know. You know what type of nigga I am. Poison that. Talk about I ain't like that. Why it took you 25 years to say that, nigga? <laughs> took a nigga 25 years to get some heart to say I ain't like that. I've been calling you a bitch-ass nigga for 25 years. You fucking coward. You treat real niggas. Hey, nigga, you came in the game with you owe money to. You a coward. Shut up, nigga. You on Clubhouse at 50 talking shit. Shut your pussy ass up, boy. Anybody want to hear that shit? Hello? You still there? Anybody care about you no more, nigga? You old news, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> you old news, nigga. <laughs> you old news, nigga. Don't nobody give a fuck about no bird, man, nigga. You can't get no shoes off your old hits, nigga. Nobody want to hear that shit. I fuck these slang freak bitch. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> man, come on, man. Y'all niggas counting me out. Man. What are you doing when you go home? Niggas counting me out, nigga. I'm still here, nigga. I got an energy drink in stores. You can walk in stores right now. I got an energy drink. And by the way, this episode of Grinding Birdman Old Ass Up is brought to you by Pure Fuel. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this high-ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh, wow. Well, there you have it. Billy the Kid. Not Billy the Kid. Listen, I'm sorry, Billy the Kid. Because Billy the Kid, I meant to say Gilly the Kid. Because Billy the Kid will roll up in his grave knowing that Billy Siegel pulled him outside and Gilly had that fire on me and he used it when he slapped him. I'm sorry, Billy the Kid. I meant Gilly. Yeah, and I ain't saying he ain't like that. He probably got his picks of choosing who he liked that with, but Birdman said he ain't like that. Birdman said he ain't like that, y'all. Well, I'm proud of him, though. He definitely found his niche and million dollars worth of game. Um, for him to see he wrote Lil Wayne lyrics, and that's a lot of our favorite artists. Once this drill shit fade, like I say, who we got? Lil Wayne. Putting shit together like a puzzle. I told y'all that one of my pride videos. That drill shit ain't gonna last. When you match lyrics to lyrics and we listen to Wayne stuff say, damn, how you come up with that? He got Eminem saying that. Damn, I wish I would have thought of that. Yeah, that way. That way. Gilly, you ain't got no part of that. Yeah, that way. Birdman say, he ain't made no money off you. He ain't made no money off you. And then the thing about it is, you ain't no dumb dude. So if you if you wrote Lil Wayne lyrics, I'm quite sure you're going to put it in paperwork and get paid off it from then to now. Because we still streaming that shit. So we know you capping. But you ain't capping about your deal, you know, with me, dollars worth again. You live, you learn, and you grow. I would respect you, I would have respected you more if you didn't even say nothing about it. Living your truth. You talking you for the kids, but you talking about somebody pussy nigga, pussy nigga. I've been calling him bitch nigga for years. This is his words. What you teaching the kids? Huh? 
you took all this good stuff and still trying to be tough. You know, and then people on your uh, your thing like this is now uh, you coming out like this with this gorilla type stuff. Not two people telling you to slap for your son and all. You know what I'm saying? Like why they yeah, like you open up doors for negative energy. You could have let that alone, ride, show your new whip or something like that. Show them that how you how you really rocking. You know what I'm saying? Show them how you really rocking. But at the end of the day, you bit the bait. Now what Birdman doing? Yeah, he didn't lead to me. He didn't lead to me. He thought you were like that. He came up there with you. He let me and he slapped you. He left and went about his business. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. And make sure y'all come respectful now because I curse the bitch out. That way. But I'm going out hard. The same way I came in. Oh, My better dragon said, send some cash out. So he eat good, like he eat every day. Yeah. Send some cash apps. What's your cash app? Dollar sign I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how you looking around. Look. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's Turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow.